This big box plant shopping video is brought to you by Squarespace. It's big box plant shopping day. I am at a Lowe's and I'm planning to visit a few different Lowe's and a Home Depot, maybe even a Walmart. We'll see if I have enough time. And I have my eye out for uncommon and rare plants or plants that used to be really rare and uncommon because we're seeing a lot of these awesome varieties now at big box shops for very affordable prices. So that's my number one. I'm also looking for great plants on sale or unique plants that I never see you know we'll we'll see what we can find today I usually am very very pleasantly surprised so if you're new welcome my name is Ashley crazy plant lady so if you want to see plant shopping and plant care videos in your newsfeed make sure to subscribe we also have a fantastic community on Instagram and TikTok. now a huge thank you to our friends at Squarespace for sponsoring this video I have created my website through Squarespace I'm not a technical person and it was so easy to set it up. They have amazing templates. You could create a website in an hour if you wanted to. Incredible stock photos or you can custom make your own from scratch. They also have great options if you want to create an online store. You can also create your own merch and products through them and then all of the production and inventory and shipping is handled through them. They have options for your customers to schedule appointments through their websites and they have terrific analytics to help you run your business most effectively. To get started, head to squarespace.com slash plant life to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I've also included the link in my description below. All right, time to do some shopping. Let's check it out and see what plants this Lowe's has and then on to some more big box shops. First stop, we have a lot of great plants. They have bromeliads here and they are $5.98. You know, they have some really, really beautiful orchids. Um, I just think these are so lovely. I especially love this purpley one. And there's, there are multiple ones with different purple colors and that gorgeous yellow. I am obsessed. Yes, lots of stunning orchids. Let's see. Yeah, they're 2048 for the nice large ones. And they have money trees here as well some anthurium love how red and stunning those are some bamboo ponytail palms these are nice sized ponytail palms these are pet friendly then we have bird of paradise the bird of paradise are $35.98 and I see some peace lilies mixed in here as well I was looking up here and they have um, like Maybe a silvery and some sort of skindapsis. Yeah, it's really pretty. $16.98. They have strawberry begonia. Oh, what is this? Peperomia serpents. That's really cute. I love those heart-shaped leaves. Some Rex begonias. Looks like the red kiss variety. Some other beautiful Rex begonias. How much are these small plants? They are $5.98. And some waffle plants. Peperomia. And Fetonia and Croton. This is down here. Waffle plant, Croton. Oh, this looks like it's another type of Croton. A Petra Croton. Really? Hmm. I don't know, it looks like a Dracaena to me. Interesting. Fern, some carnivorous plants here. Beautiful Diffenbachia, a couple different ones of those. These fern down here are $12.98, and then a waffle plant. And I know this one's called a China doll, but I'm trying to remember the scientific name for it. This is a pretty little peperomia down here. Maybe a cupid? Cupid peperomia? Variegated teardrop. Really lovely. Um, some ivy. Some nice sized fetonia back here. Look how pretty these are. They're kind of hidden back there. Um, what's up here? Some more of the really pretty rex begonia. And strawberry begonias over here, really lovely. They can be a touch fussy, the strawberry begonias. Oh, it looks like there's um, a type of like orchid cactus. This might be queen of the night. Looks like it. A sweat plant. 
That's interesting. Oh, dang, look at the size of this episcia. That is humongous. It's really, really cool. Oh, they have a little Maranta down here. One time I found a variegated one at a big box shop for a couple dollars. That's a good find though. Pretty. Here's a nice Pilea. Dark Mystery. I think that's what that one's called. Oh, okay. They have a lot of really great plants. Um, they have a purple sword. They have a lot of purple sword actually. I see them all over here too. And they have a Homolonema Emerald Gem it looks like. Lovely ZZ. This is a really pretty Peperomia Marble. $12.98. That's really lovely. Um, Skindapsis. Pictus. Moonlight Trubii. Silver Dragon. Begonia Maculata Whitei. Burgundy Rubber Tree. These all range from like $13 to $20. And some beautiful Philodendron down there. Look how pretty that one is. I love the new leaves, how they come out that bright orange color. All right, some more fun trending tropicals. We have the um, Aglionema spathonema. These are all 20. Another Scandasis trubii. Moonlight. Beautiful sil silver dragon. Calathea over here. Pretty little palm. This is a nice Aglionema. Really lovely. Uh, looks like they have Raphidophora tetraspermas down there. And, ooh, they have a Xanthosoma, some more Silver Dragon, looks like some Baltic Blue. They have a good assortment of the Trending Tropical plants out and about today. What is up here? Okay, some more of the um, Scandapsis Pictus. And, ooh, some more of the Peperomia Serpens, which is interesting. Like, this one here is kind of cool, too. Succulenty leaves. Chiponica. Hmm, I don't know. Is that a peperomia maybe? Feels like peperomia. Yeah, that's unique. Haven't seen that one before. They have some fiddle leaf fig. We're looking really healthy. Monstera deliciosa. Crotons. Some little guys here. Okay, some more Begonia maculata whitei. Some ZZs. They have um, Raphidophora hyes. These are all 20. Monstera Peru. Philodendron pink princess over there. Calatheas. Some more Scandapsis pictus trubii moonlight. Some, ooh, some gorgeous um, Epipremnum amplissimum. So another type of pothos. And some more Anthurium. Ooh, I spotted a Mandula pothos. I haven't seen one of these in a while. $7.95. Some more Dracaena and Peperomia. This ivy's interesting. I don't usually have ivy in my collection just because it's um, prone to spider mites, but I love the color of that. this kind. Isn't it pretty? You know, I love all the plants, even the ones I don't usually bring in to my, to my house. All right, we have even more really huge strawberry begonias up here and crotons silver dragons it looks like there's some birkin back there some aglionemas Ooh, some maranta up here pretty alocasia a really um stunning philodendron there I always love these little pots here. I'm here at Home Depot and I have to share the first thing that caught my eye. I am just so shocked. They have Astrophytum. Look at them all. They have all different ones. They have these kinds um, without spines, Myriastigma green, and then they have this kind, Myria stigma white. Is that Bishop's cap maybe? Look how cool that is. I think that one might also be a Bishop's cap. Um, they have lots of them. Like look at this one. This one has five. And then this one only has four. It's so cool. I'm so happy. And then I don't know what this kind is. Madisori, 
Soniorium. Like, what kind of cactus is this? It looks like it's fuzzy. Mad Madisoniorium. That's so cool. I can't believe they have astrophytum at freaking Home Depot. That's amazing. I'm so curious about this kind. Like, if you know anything about it, let me know. They have a bunch of them. And they're kind of shimmery. I'm just so excited about the astrophytum. That's awesome. What else do we have here? We have lots of succulents. Gosh, I'm just amazed. They have loads of string of bananas or string of hooks. They are $12.98. This is a pretty big money tree. It's 74. Peace lilies are 24. They have some nice ponytail palms over here, 29. And Diffenbachia's 19. Oh wow, they have big money trees, 34. And then these nice size bird of paradise. These size are 29. And then those really big ones are 44. Like, that's such a crazy deal for those huge ones. And then they have Pilea peperomioides up here on sale. All right, let's see what plants are here. Over on the right, they have Aglionema. And wow, they have Xanthosoma as well. Look at these. How much are these, I wonder? $16.98 for the Xanthosoma. Interesting. Money trees, Dracaena, wow, what are these? Goodness, they're so pretty and massive, some kind of alocasia. I don't know what kind, it has like ruffly leaves. Um, all the prices are blacked out, so I'm not sure how much this one is, but look how huge these leaves are. All right, they have Dracaena, they have these Philodendron Birkin in the big water planters. These are 29. Lots of golden pothos. And then up here are spider plants for 16.98. Yeah, some more pothos up there for 16.98. Um, some little peperomias and Diffenbachia, some pilea here. China doll plants, um, some nice syngonium. It looks like they have some exciting plants over there. I'm gonna take a look at. Uh, they some nice little ripple, ripple peperomia. And I don't know, I'm guessing they're about five dollars. Some Moon Valley Friendship plants. I love the texture of these leaves. Some pretty um Philodendrons here, Birkin, maybe lemon lime, and then over here some um, Adansonii, so pretty, Calatheas, some Ficus. Look at these humongous Calathea orbifolias. They are just amazing. 29, beautiful fern. They have a big alocasia here. These are all 29. Philodendron Mayoi, this one was really uncommon and rare for a long time. So awesome to see it here at Home Depot. And then they even have a Florida green Philodendron, Monstera Deliciosa. Um, beautiful ficus rubber tree over there. And then up here, just lots of um, Pilea, I'm sorry, yeah, Pilea peperomioides. Some beautiful African violets. I haven't seen this kind before. With like, it almost has green, green blooms. I'm not gonna touch them, but they're just so beautiful. And they have some nice pothos up on these cocoa core poles. And some ZZs here. Cute little bonsai. Is this that blooming onion maybe? No, ponytail palm? I can't tell. <laughs> uh, Stromanthe over here. And it looks like we have some more cacti. Hmm. They always have such good stuff. Can't believe they have Calathea zebrina. Such a lovely Calathea. Very velvety and lush. I'm trying to find a price. 
I'm guessing around $20. They have some of these stunning red Valentine Aglaonema. I think that's the kind it is. Some more Calathea and then Peace Lilies. They have some Ficus Lorata and some Stromanthe. Gorgeous Orchids and some really big Monstera Deliciosas. Just lovely. $19.99 on the palms. All right, they have a lot of great plants off the bat. Let's see. We have down here some Dracaena and a beautiful Philodendron. Just checking prices, these are 24. I really like the pots that they're in. And some cute little succulents. Ooh, that's a pretty Philodendron Brazil. I like that one a lot. And a gorgeous Neon Pothos. Oh my goodness. Look at all these plants. So exciting. Oh, let's see. Wow, this one really caught my eye. It's a Marble Queen Pothos, but it just has the most beautiful leaves. And then there's a Philodendron Birkin next to it, really lush and full. Such easy, easy plants. I love the Birkins. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but behind it is a Ficus Audrey. And then there's an Alocasia Poly over here. Um, beautiful asparagus fern, and there's a zebra plant, and a lemon limeranta. Curious how much these little guys are going for. $13.98 on the little ones, and then the large ones are $22.98. Look at this zebra plant. Look, it's blooming. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, there's a homolonema. Selby or Shelby back there. This is an interesting Calathea. I don't know that I've seen that one before. Ooh, they have um, a Ficus Ruby. Isn't that pretty? A Philodendron. What's down here? Alocasia Poly. And some more Ficus Philodendron. Big bird's nest for in there. Ooh, okay, we have. Uh, Baltic Blue Pothos, that's this one here, it's 20. And some cute little ZZs, I like the little pots that they're in. Some Raven ZZs, oh, African Violets. Just taking a little peek here. You can see how they have them set up to be bottom watered, which is great. I love it when I see them being taken care of. A really pretty Peperomia, looks like a Ginny and a little heart leaf philodendron. Oh, they have um, the black velvet. I think it's a black velvet, alocasia. Oh, wow, they have a little ficus triangularis. That one's an uncommon find. You just don't see that one around that much. Um, I think at one point there was a cost of farms release of the ficus triangularis, but I haven't seen them really at big box shops since, so that's a cool find. And these are the 1398 ones. Oh, there's a Maranta back there. Got some cool plants kind of hanging up here. Um, Syngonium, yellow philodendron. Oh, they have a lipstick plant. I think this might be a variegated lipstick plant and it is $20. Beautiful. Some fern, some beautiful peperomia. Over here is a really, really gorgeous staghorn fern. Obsessed. Um, I'm curious what philodendron this is. Ooh, it's a Brantianum. $14.98. Look how beautiful and silvery that is. Not pretty. Oh, they even have a Cebu Blue and a Skindapsis. Wow, so pretty. Ooh, all right, we got a bunch more plants here. All right, Diffenbachia is down at the bottom. And keep an eye out for the ones that have variegation on the outside of the leaves of this. I think those are coming onto the market finally. Um, I don't see any here, but I believe they're called Diffenbachia Cool Beauty, which I love that name. Some nice uh, Rex begonias. We have a couple varieties. Then we have the waffle plant and little snake plant over here. Some crotons and Schifflera. Ooh, ivy. 
Um, got some Hartley philodendrons. I think it would be so fun to find like a little sport variegated Hartley philodendron at a big box shop, or, you know? I think that would be, what is this kind? Tahitian Bridal Veil, interesting. Tahitian Bridal Veil, interesting. They have a Skindapsis, looks like an Exotica. Oh wow, I didn't, I don't know if I've ever seen a Skindapsis Exotica before at a big box shop for $14, cool. Another lipstick plant, uh, Polynesian Ivy, beautiful Fitonias. Yes. Let's see what else. Some Calatheas and Anthurium. Um, Sago palms. Super poisonous for pets. Like lethal. Honestly, I wouldn't even have them in the house. In my house. With how poisonous they are. Um, and I don't say that about plants. But this one is just so so dangerous i don't even know why they sell it to be honest but um some beautiful alocasias look at that really really healthy and stunning they have how much are those this alocasia these are 27 and they have some really nice bird of paradise over there these are really beautiful bromeliads What else? Um, ZZ's, Calathea, um, just kind of glancing around, fiddle, fiddly fig there. 22 for that small one. You can find better deals than that, I think. Ooh, okay, we have some Shumi Red. These are all around $20. Shumi Red, Peperomia, um, Skindapsis Moonlight Trubii. Silver Dragon, some pretty begonias. Um, doing well, how are you? Marvelous, thank you. Good. <laughs> ZZ's, Bird's Nest Fern, Aglionema. I have some Raftophora tetrasperma and Adansonii's. Raven ZZ's, Sago Palm again. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful plant. <laughs> It's just, it's so poisonous. And some beautiful orchids and some little ponytail palms. All right, I'm at Lowe's. Very curious to see what they have at this location. Up here we have some interesting plants. I think I see some Mandula potho. First I thought this might be like enjoy or something, but to me that really looks like it's a Mandula pothos. And it's $14.98. I also see uh, this one I think is an enjoy or pearls and jade. This would be another mandula. Looks almost like a marble queen though because it's so white. And then this one here is a philodendron micans. Yeah, this philodendron micans is a great find. That's awesome. And then they have another uh, Skindapsis exotica here. What a good find. Trying to see if there's anything interesting down here. We have your ZZs and your Syngoniums. Looks like maybe a, a Berry Illusion, a Dracaena, a Fiddle Leaf, another Dracaena. And down here's a Philodendron Birkin and some little palms. And then back here is a Ficus Audrey. All right, up here we have some Fitonia and some Ivy. Looks like a huge Peperomia back here. Very beautiful and a spider plant. Um, big golden pothos, 798. And then all these hanging ones are, are 20 for the big ones and then 15 for the smaller ones. And they have a strawberry begonia, a phil um, Hartley philodendron, a green one. And then pretty peperomia. Lots of crotons and rex begonias and ivy mixed in. They have a little photonia as well. Um, trying to see if there's anything different than what we've seen 
at some of the other spots. Agalanima, no, Diffenbachia, I think. Sometimes I can't tell. Fetonia, another beautiful Rex begonia. Ooh, this is a really good find. Um, so they have lipstick plant. It's here, this is a Mona Lisa. So it has like kind of heart-shaped, um, this one has some beautiful heart-shaped leaves and it puts out the prettiest blooms. I already have one, otherwise I would definitely add it to my collection. Twister lipstick plant over here and it's 16, such a good find. Oh, and then I even see another lipstick plant. I think this one over here is probably a variegated lipstick plant. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Wow, oh, we have lots of plants over here. I just got so distracted. Um, lots of anthurium. This is a cool bromeliad, really interesting. Oh, look at this alocasia, that's a stunner. I'm not confident on, uh, on the variety, so I'm not gonna, 13.98. Yeah, some great plants, calathea, bird's nest fern, zebra plant, trubii. Oh, they even have a rattlesnake calathea. You don't see that very often in the big box shops. Um, yeah, and these are all around $14. Oh, they have a philodendron micans here as well. And a golden pothos there. Wow, that's a really pretty golden pothos. Looks more like a Hawaiian, Hawaiian gold pothos. And taking a peek over here. Oh my goodness, they have a Hoya up here. Hoya Crimson Princess, $16. That's a great deal on that one. Oh my gosh, they have Hoya Curtisii. Get out of here, $16.98. Dang, we got some good finds today. Wow. Um, Raphidophora hyes. Yeah, golden pothos. Anthurium, Skindapsis trubii, and some little African violets. Gosh, so much great stuff. CZs down here. Some Peperomia, Philodendron, beautiful silver dragon, Alocasia. Some Aglianeme over here, Bromeliads mixed in. Scandapsis trubii moonlight, raven zzs. These are all around $20. Some beautiful red anthurium there. Ponytail palms. Yeah. Beautiful bird of paradise over there. I'm trying to see what else we've going on. Oh, they have um, Epipremnum amplissimum. That's a great find. These are really cute, the little gardens here. Ooh, Monstera Peru, look at that. Kind of uncommon to find. Well, back in the day anyways. And then, yeah, some beautiful bromeliads and dracaena. Gosh, look at these palms, they're just flourishing. All right, I am at Walmart and I'm so glad I was able to squeeze it in because they have so many plants. So I'm just gonna check over here at the Trending Tropicals. Um, wow, this is so cool. All right, so they have the Begonia Maculata YDI, $10. That is amazing. Um, and then they have the Monstera Peru here the global green pothos. Oh, they have Monstera stanleyana as well. Now, I don't think all of these are $10. I think just the ones that are labeled, perhaps. Oh my goodness. Oh, they have a tortum. Whoa, it is not in good shape, but I don't have a tortum. I wonder if I could get a deal on it. What, oh, what was this one? This looks like it was some kind of Hoya. Oh, Deshidia? Deshidia. Gosh, they had a type of Deshidia, but it's not doing very well. Okay, this is very interesting to me. I can't believe they have a Tortum. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, oh wow, look at these Bert Bilabata. I think they're Bertinet. They're labeled Bilabata. Wow. And then some Fetonia. They have the Polynesian Ivy. My goodness, I wonder if there's more Philodendron Tortum. This is the first I've ever seen in the Charlotte area. That's crazy. And I've never seen the Deschidia either. I wish it wasn't like, you know, in such bad shape. Ooh, gosh, there's so many plants. My camera's dying. Oh. I've had to switch to my cell phone because my camera battery died um and this is my last stop anyways but i did want to finish shopping here and seeing what they have looks like they have lots of golden pothos 1097 i'm very curious what all is in the 1097 category i think like the diffenbachia are and the golden pothos um over here there are quite a few beautiful cacti and succulents there's aloe I'm trying to see if there's anything super interesting. Look how pretty these are. Oh, and I love these fuzzy guys. Oh, wow. And they have some big plants here. Big um, peace lilies. Whoa. Amazing. I'm still in shock over this one, though. Oh, my goodness. Some orchids some gardens and they have some syngonium um some nice little be rex begonias waffle plants just see if there's anything unusual kind of mixed in here i love these some aurelia and ivy look at all the plants here i think they're probably still putting out more plants because there's room still these are all around how much are these 16.96 and then these are like 20 dollars it's a good deal on these size plants what's over here lots of succulents kind of take a look see Ooh, really lovely cacti these are all 4.97 and then there's some really little ones here, $3.97. How beautiful. All right, plant haul time. I bet you can all guess what plant I ended up bringing home. And it is the beautiful Philodendron Tortum. I cannot believe they had this plant at Walmart. It was $20. This I think is still considered somewhat uncommon. I, it's the first time I've ever seen it at a big box shop and I'm thrilled. So let's take a look at it. So first I'll talk about the plant and then I'll talk about the actual pot that it's in because this is my first time purchasing um, one of the self-watering system um, pots through Costa Farms. So the Philodendron Tortum is such a cool plant. I mean, it's just very, very unique. I don't know that much about it because it's brand new to my collection and I've never um, had this plant before. I love the leaves. Now there are certain things that it's kind of looking rough, so it could have some sort of root rot. It could have some struggles. I mean, it could just be damaged from shipping. I could be just adjusting. So I'll probably do a little bit of investigating. But yeah, the Philodendron Tortum is just so unique. And these leaves are so cool. This plant used to be incredibly expensive. So I feel so fortunate to be able to add it to my collection for around $20. I think that is awesome. And um, yeah, my plan is just to water it when it's about halfway to fully dry. Any recommendations that you have would be great. I'm probably gonna just give it some, you know, light a few feet away from the window or stick it under a grow light. So I'm gonna take a look now at the pot. All right, so it's empty. And the whole point of this setup is to have some kind of reserve water in there so that the wick can absorb moisture and then continue to water the plant. And then you don't really have to think about watering the plant because it's just naturally getting water. So I guess you could do this a number of ways and I haven't done the QR code, so. I apologize if I am speaking incorrectly. I don't have patience right now to do the QR code. 
cold. So I'm Sagittarius, it's not my fault. But you could either just water it directly and then kind of keep an eye on the water level or you could just take the nursery pot out and then, you know, fill it kind of to the, to the recommended level, which is probably what I'll do. Um, cause you have, I'd have more control that way. And I, I don't know how well it works, but I think it's a great idea. I, I am curious as to what the roots look like on this plant. Um, I know some of these plants have little like plugs. Sometimes that's fine. Sometimes it can be a hindrance. It just depends on, you know, really each individual plant and the type of plug. But I, I don't know. I haven't really heard other people's opinions. I think it's a great idea just because I'm an underwaterer and it's really nice to be able to know that like my plants just like naturally getting water, especially with like a lot of traveling and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I mean, it saves me the, the hassle of it. I have other self-watering pots for like my African violets and they're really awesome. So I don't know, I think it's a great idea. I'm excited to try something new and see how it works. I'm always open to to um, to new things. And I think that they're trying to do us a favor um, by setting it up this way. So I'm excited and I love the philodendron tortum. Um, I think this was a fabulous, fabulous find. I also thought like the astrophytum were a great find today. There were a lot of really cool plants. So let me know what plants you would have picked up today if you would have been plant shopping with me and subscribe if you'd like to see future episodes in your newsfeed. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.